people describe their beliefs about life in different ways. Some people call themselves spiritual. Some people call themselves religious. Some people will say that they're spiritual but not religious. Some people will say they're religious but not spiritual. And of course, there are people who would never use either word to describe themselves or their experience. I find this all very fascinating. And it's interesting to me how many conceptions we have about this. In December of 2023, the Pew Research Center published results of surveys that they did about how people describe themselves and what terms they use. They found that 22% of people in the United States describe themselves as spiritual but not religious. Similarly, 21% said that they were neither spiritual nor religious, almost the same amount of people in those two categories. But here's what I found really surprising. 48% of people in the United States describe themselves as both spiritual and religious. And about 10% said that they were neither spiritual nor religious. But about half of people consider themselves spiritual and religious. Very interesting, because if you think about what you see in comments that people make, you would think that both spirituality and religion have nothing to do with each other, yet about half of people in the United States are able to put these two things together and see them as somehow working together. And that's what I want to talk about today. And as I do, I want to invite you to subscribe to this channel as well as you click the bell so you're notified of future videos. So let's put aside all the pithy little sayings about what spirituality and religion are and dig in a little bit deeper than what a meme will do or a quick quote does about these things. Religion comes from an old Latin word, religio. Religio isn't a word that we can easily translate. It's more conceptual. Religio refers to having a good faith about life, a sense of right or a sense of, of moral living. It's about living in an integrated way that things come together, that they're, you know, really integrated and put together in the way we live. This term religio evolved over time and in the 13th century began to emerge in both English and French as the term we use religion. Now, a way to think about this is to look at the Sanskrit word for dharma. Dharma is, is, is translated into English as religion. And dharma also is about this way of living, this way of living that is based on virtues and, and living right in the world. So that whether we're talking in terms of dharma or whether we're using the term religion, we're talking about people living in the world in a right way, in a way that's compassionate and caring, in a way that's engaged and, and lives in the world with kindness and strives to be a moral person, to be a good person. That's the heart of good religion. And often we have somehow associated religion with organized religion. And that's something much more contemporary. Religion itself is at its heart is not about creeds and dogma, but it's about how we live and that we live in a good way based on a positive outlook that brings compassion into the world. That's the heart of religion. Spirituality, on the other hand, is, is much more of an inner kind of experience. It's, it's an experience that has more to do with enlightenment and insight. It's a personal experience. It has to do with our human experience. I talk about it most often in terms of the dimension of who we are that enables us to find meaning and purpose and value in life. It's about the internal dialogue that we have. So spirituality is that part of ourselves that opens us to live in a better way, which is about religion. So for the sake of this video, I'm gonna be a little bit simplistic and, and really ask you to consider that spirituality is, the, is at the heart of our experience. 
It's that piece of us that enables us to be inspired by a spiritual practice, by a sunrise, by music, by art, by whatever it is that evokes something in us. And so, when something is evoked to see something more in life, to see something of greater value in life, then it changes how we live. It shapes our lives. And the way it shapes our lives to live in a positive way in the world, that's the heart of religion. So that spirituality and religion work hand in hand with themselves. Now, I think our problem is that we often think of many things. We think of many things in this world in categories. There's right, there's wrong, there's day, there's night, there's good, there's bad. Whatever it is, we like to have two categories. It's this or that. And we've begun to uh, approach spirituality and religion in this way, that we see it as one or the other. So that some people see spirituality as good and religion bad, and some people see religion good and spirituality bad. But in essence, they work hand in hand. Spirituality, when that's the sole focus, that causes us to be more egocentric. It causes us to get caught up in ourselves and our self-satisfaction and looking for our own fulfillment. Religion is what takes us out of ourself and enables us to live in a way that is compassionate and caring as the Dalai Lama would say, love is my religion. It's about action. It's about doing something. On the other hand, when religion is separated from spirituality, then it does become the rules and regulations, the dogma and, and the doctrine. And so it loses its heart. Both pieces need to work together. Maybe they don't realize it, but 48% of people in the United States have understood that somehow spirituality and religion work together for them, that they come together for them. And I think that's really important because that, that implicitly speaks in my mind to a kind of integration and wholeness. What we experience internally needs to be expressed externally. And that's the dynamic of spirituality and religion. I hope this maybe give you some insight and different ways of thinking. Be sure to leave me some comments, ask some questions. I want to hear from you. Subscribe to this channel, like it, share it with others, and know that I appreciate the time you spend on Spirituality Beyond Borders. Have a great day.